This is why June 2023 General Mathematics Paper 2 and we are answering question number 5. And the question says a boy stand at a point M. And that point M is on the same horizontal level as the foot T of a vertical building. And that boy observe an object on the top P of the building at an angle of elevation 66 degrees. The same boy moves directly backward to another new position C or new point C and observe the same object at an angle of elevation 53 degrees. If the distance from M to T is 50 degrees, that is from the first initial standing point to the foot of the building, that distance is now 50 meters. The two questions asked here is to A, illustrate the information in this diagram. All oh, the statements there given, we have to change it into mathematical diagram. And the question number B says calculate correct one decimal place Roman one, the height of the building and the distance from M to C. So let's attempt to answer this very question together. Solution to this. The very first thing you asked here is to translate all the statements here into diagram. So if uh, this is the building, this is it is top P, and this is the foot of the building called the T, and this is the position M where the boy is standing, and the distance from M to T is 50 as indicated in the question, M to T is 50. So it is here that the boy is standing, and look at the top of this, uh, top of the building, and when you now look at this, you use the angle of elevation, 66 degrees. Look at it. This angle is now 66 degrees. So after looking at the top, he now move backward from this position and move backward to another position, C. Look at the C. And uh, now look at the same object again at the top of the building. And this time around the angle of elevation is 53 degrees. So with this drawing, we have answered the question number A. We have translated each and every bit of information there from statement form into, into diagram. So this answered the question number A. So let's just move ahead and answer question number B. Question number B, we asked to find the correct to one decimal place the height of the building. The height of the building is now from P to T, which is now distance to PT. So let me just use the, this uh, right angle triangle, look at it. Look at it, look at this right angle triangle. I have this angle 66, and this angle is opposite to the side that we wanted to find the PT, and I have this side 50, and this side 50, if I'm using the trig ratio, it will now be adjacent to this very angle 66. So I'll now take a ratio that involves opposite and adjacent to find the distance PT, and that will now be tangent ratio, and the tangent of this angle 66 degrees will now be the opposite, which is the distance PT, divided by the adjacent, which is this distance 50. So cross multiplying, you now have your distance PT to be equals to 50 multiplied by 1066. So you now find what is 1066, either from your calculator or from the four-figure table. If that is now checked correctly, it gives you 2.2460. And multiplying 2.2460 by 50 correctly gives answer 112.3018. And when this is now rounded to one decimal place to get the height of the building, it will now give you 112.3 centimeters. This is rounded to one decimal place. So Roman 1 question has now been answered. So move to Roman 2, that we asked to find the distance MC from M to C, the distance that he moved backward. So to answer this very question, we are going to use the larger triangle. It is also right angle triangle. Large triangle. This is also right angle triangle. That I have uh, this side PT, which is opposite to the angle 53 degrees. And I have the whole of this from C to T, as the side adjacent to this angle 53. So it is also going to be tangent ratio. So tangent of this angle 53 degrees is now going to be now going to be 112.3, which is the distance PT we obtain in Roman 1 E divided by from T to C, which now comprises 50 plus MC. So this is 50 plus the distance MC. 
So cross multiply and trying to make this MC subject of the formula, you now have uh, 50 plus the distance MC equals to 112.3 divided by 1053 degrees. And taking this 50 to the right hand side will now give leave you with the distance MC by the left equals to 112.3 divided by and the tangent of 53. If you check it from your calculator for figure table, it gives you 1.3270. Then minus 50 is this. This shifted shifted to the right. And this division, if done correctly, you now have 84.6269, then minus 50. And if you now subtract 50 from 84.6269 correctly, you now have 34.6269. And we are now asked to round our answer to one decimal place. So if this result is now rounded to one place of decimal, you now have 34.6 centimeters. This will now be the distance from M to C. And this answered all the two questions. So let me just share with you the distribution of marks in this very question as it is contained in the official marking scheme. So the very first mark is the B2 mark, and this B2 mark is for changing all the statements into drawing that is answering question number A. But take note all the points must be shown accurately, all the angles must be shown accurately, and this distance also must be shown accurately. If anyone is wrong or is missing, minus half a mark. So this is two marks for question number A, that is for the drawing. And question number B, the mark distribution is as follows. The very first mark is method mark is for taking a tangent ratio, tangent of the 66 degrees correctly. You have this method one mark. And when you have the distance PT accurately rounded to one decimal place, you now have uh, this accuracy one mark. And the next mark is another method. The mark is for taking tangent ratio again of this 53 degrees accurately. You have this method one mark. In attempt to simplify this to get to your MC, you have this method one mark also. And trying to simplify further again, you have this method one mark. And when you now have uh, your distance MC accurately rounded to one decimal place, or you have 34.6 centimeters, it gives you this accuracy one mark. So question number B has six good marks.